Hey, how's it going? This is Henry. You're responding to your request for a quick video on how you can get more online exposure. So right now I'm on your Facebook page for Down and Dirty. Like in your cover photo, you show off some of the different work. It looks like you do some landscaping and land clearing. And then even your profile picture too, you show off tools of a trade. Going down here too, it's good how you post a lot of pictures, showing off all of your different works. So you build up a portfolio of some sorts. And another thing too, by posting more um you're engaging with your users as well too and so yep this is all good stuff all right let's see here uh, okay so and then in looking in the about section it's just see mulcher 120 an hour so i would recommend like being more descriptive about what you do is it landscaping land clearing is it what uh, get as specific as you can about some of the services you offer that way then it'll be easier for people to know like who what you're about and who you are it's good if people like your page you got your phone number listed which is great so people know where to call you people can message you, you got your email address on there one thing that's missing though is a website so i'm going to show you how you can use a website to your advantage so it looks like you do some landscaping so here's an example somebody searching for landscaping in London, oklahoma here's what pops up so first thing we see here is the map portion of Google. The top three people get the most traffic. So we got Garrett's landscaping and lawn service, land shapers, as well as 4D landscaping and irrigation. Once we move past the map portion, we get into the organic section. This is where you want to own space. So nature landscape is the first spot. We're going to take a look at some of them in a little bit. And we got bedrock nursery. Let's see, 4D, Garza. Let's see, we go down even more. See so you at the bottom right here, these are actually advertisements. These are people who are paying to be on page one. In a sense, they're renting that space. It's always better to own than rent. You want to have top three map listings along with the top three organic spot. So let's take a look here. I'm going to show you some stats on page one. So page one accounts for 91.5% of Google traffic. As you see, once you leave page one and hit page two, the traffic traffic falls off significantly. So it's either you're found on page one or you're nowhere to be found. And there's a lot of missed opportunity there because 47% of the time people conduct a Google search. It is for a local business service of some sort. And another thing too, not all traffic on page one is created equal. Each spot gets a different share. So as you see, the top three spots get the most traffic. But there's a huge difference between that number one spot and that last spot. So that first spot gets like 30% more traffic than that last spot. So if you get a top three organic spots going at the top three map listing, you have a lot of uh, website visitors coming away. The more website traffic you get, that will in turn lead to more phone calls, and then those phone calls will turn into more customers. And then that will be, then with those extra customers, you can use that to grow your business even further. By having positions on page one, you can add thousands of dollars of revenue per month to your business. So let's take a look at Nature Landscape Blog. So here's their website. So it's like a nice, clean, simple site. They have a contact us. Got some text on here as well, too. Anytime you have a website, you always have to think to yourself, what's the first action you want the user to take? So you, you always want to make sure that they have a means to contact you. So you see right here, they got a clickable phone number at the top left. You always want to have that. User's eyes always start in the top left-hand side of the page. If they see that phone number first thing, they'll know to call you. And especially when it, you want to make sure it's clickable too. That way then a user can call you from a mobile device. And then when they make their way to the right, you always want to have a contact form on each page. Right above that contact form, you want to say something like get a free quote or get a free estimate. It doesn't look like they have that. So that'll be another that's another thing you want to add. And anytime like Google's ranking a website, they look for authoritative content. So you always want to have between one you always want to have at least a thousand words on your homepage explaining your services and all all about what you do. And in each service page you want to have at least five hundred words. You can go past those limits too. If you got like two thousand words on your homepage and then thousand words on each service page like the more the merrier there's no such thing as too much it's actually better you want to have way more words than everybody else like they, they're definitely under the a thousand word mark here and another thing too um you want to make sure you have like so much valuable information about landscaping or land clearing you want to be the wikipedia of that subject in your area in your local market and that's what they look for you just want to have all that good information and here's a trick too, when you go into Google, you type in site colon, you piece in a web URL, it tells you how many pages that a website has across the search engine. So for example, Naturescape has nine pages. So it's nine different ways people can find. So you see they mentioned like plant nursery and landscape design, get the headline. So they have the, they have a lot of keywords. Think about all the services that you want people to hire you for. Those are, that's where you want 
to put in the search engines like up here think about all the words so it could be like land clearing landscaping mulching think about think about that and then we go down here so they got a gallery too definitely there's definitely more, more pages you can definitely if you add more pages that can definitely help too so you can make a blog giving your thoughts and opinions on landscaping so that'll help even make a location different location pages different places where you want to get business also you have the service pages as well too you can make a gallery as well portfolio too and while having lots of great authoritative content is very essential it's just one piece to the puzzle another thing you need is a thing called backlinks which is when you put your website link onto another website not all backlinks are created equal some are more powerful than others um ranking to the top of google and a website to the top of google just like being a kid at a school is trying to rise up in popularity yes you can have a great personality and be good looking at the in the school but what's the point if you're not getting those votes of confidence from all your peers and the popular kids so let's say for example homeandgarden.com wrote an article about all the great work that you did and and they had your website link on there and they and they um gave you that follow google let's see them be like oh homeandgarden.com likes uh down and dirty we're gonna move them up the rankings and you'll find more and more of those popular sites to link up to just as even like a top construction site linked up to you too that would be another one you know let's say but let's say for example a new site called like joe's lane clearing get, uh you put your website link on there and they give you a follow Google would see that be like, oh, who's Joe's land clearing? I've never seen this guy before. And he likes down and dirty. We're going to keep them ranked, the ranking the way it is because his opinion doesn't carry any weight. So this is a tool called Ahrefs that show, showcases how a website actually, is actually doing. So here's for nature sleep. So you see here, like they appear on 123 organic keyword searches. They have 126 backlinks. With backlinks, you actually see who your competitors are linking to and trying to link up to those same sites. But with backlinks, it's not all about having way more than everybody else. You want to make sure you have a lot of quality backlinks. You want to have way more quality backlinks. And here, another thing, too, you see here, like their search engine traffic is actually producing revenues because you see here their traffic value has a dollar amount. So take a look here at some of their or, the organic keywords they rank for. Let's see, landscaping, Lawton, okay. Search 60 times a month. That could be a good one if you want to get landscaping. See, I see plant nursery, maybe land, like, yeah, land clearing could be a good one for you. Like mowing, mulching, they go out, think out of those services. Those are, that's where you want to appear for. And I'll take a look here at some of the um, backlinks too. So you, the links you want to get there too, you want to make sure they're as relevant as possible to what you do. So like, that's like, yeah, it could be land clearing, mulching, landscaping, Oklahoma. So like easy local, you can get one from there. Let's see where else. Easy local would be a good one. You definitely want to be linked up with your local chamber of commerce as well. That could be another good one. Yeah, yellow pages would be a good one too. Uh, let's see, e local. You can definitely put one on your Facebook page too and your social media accounts as well. And to rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations is one thing. Citations the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. So here's the heat map. So I couldn't find yours, but I found for Naturescape LLC. Whenever somebody's searching for landscaping, for example, like the map listing is going to be ranked differently depending on which location that person's searching. So as you see here, like in this part of town or whatever part of Oklahoma, they're, they're actually ranked pretty well and same in this part because they're they're in the green. You want to be ranked one through three, so that's the green spots. And then, but then there's some spots where they're not as strong where there's orange, yellow, and red. So if this was you, if you saw some red, orange, or yellow spots, one thing you got to do, definitely get like 300 citations. You want to add a lot of citations. Try to get as many as you can. Also, too, you want to make sure you have at least 30 geotagged photos. So maybe you're maybe you're serving maybe you're doing work in some of these areas where that's yellow, red or orange. So you can actually take pictures of that with your smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, and it'll have geotag coordinates on it. Then you can upload it to your Google Map listing. You want at least thirty of those. And another thing too, make sure you build up your website with lots of authoritative content and strong backlinks. Even add location pages too. That will help to rank in some of those in all these different locations. So let's see here, maybe Cache, for example, could be one. See Medicine Park. Uh, let's see another some other locations too. Yeah, Lawton. Yeah, I mean that one had it, they had a good ranking there. 
but yeah, think about all the different spots of town where you can rank. And another thing too, definitely getting more reviews to your Google map listing helps too. You want to have like at least 10 five-star reviews or even more. If you got like 30 five-star reviews, Google's going to want to expose you in a lot of different areas. If you're seeing like, oh, this guy's getting rave reviews, we have to show him off in all these different areas. So like all in all, to get to turn all those yellows, reds, and oranges into greens, definitely build up a website with lots of authoritative content as well as diff good location pages of the locations you want to serve. Get strong backlinks. In another, built, you can actually use your Google Map listing similar to a Facebook or Instagram by posting there too. You can do that. So that's another thing. So you got it. You can do that. Also, add like those 300 citations. Get as many as you can. Get at least 10 more reviews. Try to get even more than that. Try to get five star reviews. Get the citations. Get those 30 geotagged photos in there. And then that that should definitely get you all. Then should definitely optimize your map listing and its exposure. So I hope all this feedback, I hope this was valuable. I would love to hear your feedback and I really look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.